Alright, so I've received a game from Jamie Mulvaney. <laughs> I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it, but that would be awesome. Jamie Mulvaney. Yeah, so um, the game is called Twin Darkness. Um, and it says it's his final year college project. That's cool. Uh, and he says, Twin Darkness is a fully dynamic, engaging environment loaded with key features, advanced AI, developed and implemented decision trees with advanced audio and sight detection branches ensuring realistic responses, dynamic options menu ensuring the game can meet the system for the best performance and graphical output, fully engaged 3D environmental assets, uniquely designed and developed main character with advanced passive and active ability options ensuring the player is engaged. Gameplay slash story designed around the concept of episodic storytelling. Cool, cool. And so the plot. You, the player, will take the role of Gemini, a young woman with a past that is hidden to everyone, including herself. As Gemini, you awaken within a facility called Equinox, controlled by someone or something truly dark. From there, you must uncover the truth, survive what's been done to you, and most importantly, escape. Cool. Yeah, so, you know, I'll just jump right into it and see what happens. So, let's see. Alright, so, yeah, Jamie, I'm really looking forward to try this. Seems like you've done a lot of different things. So, uh, let's just jump right into it. Twin Darkness. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Nice. Main menu with animated living background, cool font, the elements you need, play story, options, exit game. Let's see. Options menu. Wow. Overall graphics options. Low, medium, high, ultra. I guess I can take ultra. No, I'll just do high. Graphic options, full screen enable, V-Sync, yeah, I can do that. Window resolution, nice. View distance, wow, really? Anti-aliasing, post-processing, shadow quality, texture quality, effects quality. Okay, I'm gonna set all of these to medium and then set them up while playing to see how they function. Um, but right away I would see that there's no way for me to know which ones I've selected so maybe you should make them red or something if you you know select them um, or maybe that color yeah okay let, let's go on that was really cool anyway play story choose chapter prologue chapter I'd suggest just calling it prologue because since you say choose chapter, you already know it's a chapter, you know. So just prologue. Start chapter, continue chapter, okay. Start chapter. What does war do? It brings horror. Death makes friends and enemies. Turns nations against one another. But most of all, it shows the true nature of humans. Humans turn to monsters to give them protection. Never seeing, never asking how the monsters do it. But now, our nature may become our undoing. Nice. Uh, what I would suggest though, since I'm suggesting things, uh, try writing correctly, you know. Don't use uh, capitalized letters like monsters, humans turn to monsters. Monsters should really have a little M, shouldn't it? Unless there's some special reason for you doing it like what does war do war should also be with a little w so and you know a period after monsters do it period and become our undoing period yeah so i'm a lan language nazi <laughs> okay i'm an author so i can't help it i just need all text to be correctly written so yeah that's just a little thing 
Otherwise, this looks great. I love it. So let's see. Loading screen. Awesome. Awakened. Libraus. <laughs> okay. You're Gemini. One hour ago, the facility's AI just went insane. It took control of everything and just started killing everyone. What? Ah, my head. Why can't I remember things? Anything. I won't read all of this. Yeah. Okay, so I can control it. Nice. Let's start by getting out of that room. Override door control. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, it's really dark in here. And I'm the kind of guy who likes inverted, so I'm gonna try to invert this up and down Y axis. It's not possible. So, yeah, you should implement a way to, for the player to invert the Y axis. Or is it the x-axis? Well, yeah, the up and down. <laughs> okay, so now I will try to set all of this to high. So let's see if that changes anything. Resume story, save story, load story. That's awesome. And behold, I turned on the light. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, so medium is... Medium is... Okay, okay, um, okay. What if I take Ultra? Will I break the computer? I shouldn't. Okay, yeah, no problem. Hey, this is really nice. Uh, but yeah, being an inverted player, this is... Uh, I'm un uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I can, I can manage, I can manage. So I can see you have probably like health bar and I don't know an energy bar. So that's nice. It would probably be even cooler if that was uh, like the same art style like this, you know. And yeah, yeah, it should probably be uh, as as it is right now. It looks a little bit too cartoony and a little bit unfinished but of course this is an unfinished game so no problem other than that I like this looks like you've actually created it and not just use some finished package I like this yeah it's cool particle systems awesome smoke Ooh. Looky here, I have a body. A pretty smooth one at that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm just I'm just that was really nice. To actually see the body of myself helps with the immersion part of the game. So that's cool. Okay, where to? Go upstairs and open the vent. A vent, really? Trust me, this way is better. Cleaner, too. <laughs> okay. I really like all the little details. Like the lights in here. Nice textures. Nice lights. Press E to interact with highlighted objects. Okie dokes. Damn it, it's locked me out. It? Equinox, it's trying to stop you. What? Uh, there's a substation on the other side of this floor. Take the door to the end of the stairs. P.S. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe the text should be hanging around on the screen a little bit longer. Can I pick it up again? No. I just get the package failed. <laughs> Sound. Okay. But it's telling me to do it. Yeah, but it doesn't. Okay, so I'm not. As you can see, I'm really having trouble with looking up and not down when I'm looking up and not down. Huh. 
Yeah, I like the reflections. Okay, so I'm so focused on evaluating this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Even though they said it. Here we go. Oh, why are you sorry? <laughs> nice. This is a lot better than some other games I've received now. <laughs> this is actually a story. That's really great. Can I pick this up? No. I actually get a sense of what's happening here. I don't know what it is, but I know something has happened here. That's really awesome. Can I pick this up? No. Oh, what happened? I didn't notice. I was dying. Using your active power costs health. What? What active power? <laughs> okay, let's try again. Let's try again. I'm gonna be silent for two seconds and see, see if I understand what's happening here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Somehow I started using my health now. How can I stop it? Okay. Is it just in here? No. Okay, so it's R. The R button. Okay. Okay. Fuck Equinox that locked me out. Yeah, that's great. Just look for an emergency release button. Yeah, isn't that this? This looks like an emergency release button, doesn't it? No. Okay. Okay, all the buttons look like that. Oh, okay. Here. Nice, that did it. The substation should be at the end of the hall. Good. Yeah, I'm Gemini and I think it's good. Hey, kudos on creating this. This is really cool. I actually get the sense of playing a real game. And it's loading, or saving, or loading, saving. I don't know, but it's awesome. <laughs> Once you activate the command, you'll only have 30 seconds before Equinox, so I should run, I guess. Okay, is there a run button? Should I know this before I do this? Really like this little room. All the wires and cables and... Yes, it's really nice, really nice. Okay. Equinox loading, libraws, 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 I don't know. Executable commands, open level 1 emergency access events. Okay. I guess I'll just do that then. Press and hold Q to sprint, okay. Where to? Where to? Just out of here. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. <laughs> Maybe I'm just running the wrong way. Oh, there's something there. Is that a monster? It's a monster. But the monster is stuck. Okay. Can I maybe open it? Open it. Press and hold C to crouch. Okay. <laughs> Hello. That's really great. Awesome animation. 
Can he do something to me? Hmm. Is this it? Is this as far as you've gotten? Okay. I'm gonna assume that either I'm just stupid or this is as far as the game has been created, developed. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is great. Okay. So, I'll stop the gaming and we will walk through the... Um, the Unreal Dev Project scorecard to see how you did. Let's see, I'm just gonna try to save story first. Okay, so I'm saving. Just to check the functions, the functionality, if I quit it. And then start it again. Will it really have saved where I am? My position? Let's see. Continue chapter. That's hardcore. <laughs> That's really great. That's really great. That was... Yeah, that's great. Okay, I can jump. I can jump. I didn't realize that. And she's animated. She's jumping. And she's crouching. Nice. Yeah, okay, okay. Awesome. I'm gonna stop it here. Yeah, so that was a really cool experience, uh, and to be, uh, you know, in the game, unfinished, and, you know, obviously you know a lot of technical things, uh, and you know how to implement them, and I would say it's gonna be very interesting to see how this develops as time goes on. Um, let's take a look at the Unreal Dev Project scorecard and see uh, what I think on the different things. So let's start with the technology part. Graphics, great. I really enjoyed, you know, the artwork, the textures, the static meshes, the skeletal meshes, the animations, both on the main character and on the monster at the end, the crawling. Yeah, and I liked all the screens and the lights and the beds and the dead soldiers. You really show that you put effort into making it look good. Uh, surely it's still a bit rough, but when you pol polish all of it, it's gonna be really awesome. Particle effects and lighting and smoke and all of that. I really got the sense of where I was and yeah, you know, <laughs> what was happening and that it was a creepy situation. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. I have to give it a throw the dice for graphics. I would say as it is right now, um, a four with the potential of reaching five or six. It depends how much you polish it and how much you do all you can to make it as good as you can. But right now it's four and that's really good. Uh, the next controllability, uh, the ability I had to control the player and how easy or hard it was to move around the environment and make the character do what I wanted the character to do. Uh, you know, it was um, sensitive to my every move. The character could crouch, jump, push things, you know, push buttons and run and yeah, use... Uh, what was it? I don't remember the name, but something that drained, you know, something and that was cool. And that's a part of controllability as I see. The only thing, as I said, that I suggest you fix right away is the ability to invert the y-axis because for someone like me always the first thing I do when I open an FPS game is to invert that so yeah just fix that and of course you can do that easy as pie with your knowledge so controllability yeah sure if you fix up that invertibility it would be a six you know it's great no problems whatsoever well I could say five you know just to not make you cocky you know so five yeah and then 
when I try the next uh, version of the game it might get all the way up to six so yeah level design um, yeah it's awesome you know I enjoyed the way you made it uh, so that one thing led to the next logically first you had to wait until the door opened on its own and then you would talk a little bit with what was it Gemini no that's the main character yeah that voice um, and you learned how to pick up something and then you could open a door and then you would push a button and then you could crouch so it was a logical way to you know progress and learn uh, which which is the way it should be and that's great um, so yeah the design of the levels in that aspect was great so I would say uh, roll the dice five user interface and HUD uh, the main menu options menu was great it had a distinct feel uh, it really felt like that game you had and the fact that the font inside the game was the same as the font in the main menu was awesome uh, the only thing as I mentioned already was the health bar uh, that should I think that should have the same art style as the main menu uh, and uh, the other elements yeah so if you fix up that then that would be then that would be great <laughs> other than that really awesome I would say uh, yeah four or five I'm, I'm not sure but it's up there yeah. so fix the game uh, UI you know the health bar and energy bar if that's what it is I guess that's what it is and you're up there with uh, on a five story awesome it was uh, interesting to have a voice talking to you if I could hear the voice that would be even better but just having a conversation going on the screen makes immersion better so as you can see I have immersion under psychology so uh, that's uh, yeah I'll come to that but that really drove the story forward often in indie games uh, unfinished indie games at least there's nothing like that so you're you're just in a level and you have to explore the world but you're not getting any kind of say language imposed story uh, so yeah but also as I said fix up the grammar and you know fix the punctuation and make sure the text is correctly written I saw a lot of small you know misspellings fix that and then that's that's gonna be great and the music and sound effects I liked the sound effects on the menus and I enjoyed the musical atmospheric ambience they all worked so you could probably put in even more sound effects like some psh, psh from the you know the damping the smoke coming out of the pipes and you know some bzzz from the electricity particle systems stuff like that and of course actual voices on the dialogue would improve the game even more but yeah I really enjoyed the feel of the sound effects and the music that you chose it really fit the game atmosphere perfectly okay so over to the psychology fun enjoyment now that's like how fun it was how much I enjoyed myself playing and as should be obvious by watching me play I really enjoyed it it was uh, it, it was great what can I say you know it's, it's easy just polish it and make it even more atmospheric and you will have a top-notch feel to it so yeah I would say five for fun enjoyment challenges like challenges and rewards they are they need to balance each other out because if you have a really difficult challenge then you should have a really great reward you know if you really struggle with a challenge and there's no reward when you're done other than actually having finished a challenge then that's you know that's sad so you need to balance challenges and rewards I don't I don't really have that much to evaluate here because um, well the door opened so the challenge was to wait 
the next challenge was to yeah okay the reward was like the voice talking to you saying good yeah that's great so it was a good balance for the challenges and rewards that I experienced and I expect them to be even greater further down the line but as it is right now I'll give you four on both of them addictiveness and as you can see replayability and addictiveness might be kind of overlapping but there's a difference I would say this will probably have good replayability which means I could sit down after completing it and play it again and enjoy it again but I don't know if it will be addictive but being addictive isn't necessarily a good thing so scoring high on addictiveness uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great game so but I do think it will have good replayability and immersion that's good because of the talking voice and the atmosphere and the scenery telling the story and the voice telling the story and you know everything created a good sense of actually being there so I'll give this five for immersion as it is right now with you know seeing the potential of the game and surely if you created this for virtual reality like oculus rift or vive or something i guess that would be something i would like to try so yeah good luck great job and i hope everyone else watching this can you know give you some hints and tips some more feedback something i didn't see something i didn't think about uh, but people be polite don't say just like this sucks Besides, why would anybody say this sucks? <laughs> but give a constructive feedback. Um, so, and of course, if you have an unfinished game that you want me to showcase and walk through, send it over to unrealdevprojects at gmail.com. And also, don't forget to opt in to Unreal Tutorials newsletter, which is on the bottom of the page on every page on unrealtutorials.com. And yeah, 